Now, scientists hope that this year's annual Cape Parrot Census will yield good results, expected to show an increase in the number of parrots. This is especially because the weather has been favourable for the sightings of the birds. These parrots are only found in South Africa and are one of the most endangered bird species. They are between 1,500 and 1,600 in the wild. Their habitat, patches of remaining indigenous forests in the Eastern Cape, southern KwaZulu-Natal and Limpopo. Their numbers have remained stable over the last five years. The annual count is reliant on volunteers. Some of the groups won't see any parrots today and they'll be very disappointed. But that data is important to show that there were no parrots at that forest because these parrots, we call them food nomadics, meaning they move between the patches to find food. And we had very late rains this year, so things flowered and fruited later. So, and also this time of year, there's often not much food in the forest. And we're not sure if the parrots have just discovered that pecanuts are very delicious, but they often fly out to places outside of the forest during April, May to feed on pecanuts. The birds are most active at dawn and dusk. It's parrot flying from east to west, if it's flying that way, from west to east. The Cape parrot is mainly threatened by habitat loss, illegal trade and disease. We are now standing in front of this very beautiful yellowwood forest. It's called Impesheni Forest. And Impesheni Forest is in the middle of all these pine plantations near Kokstad. We're about 30 kilometers from, from the edge of Kokstad. And um, this is one of the few places that these parrots actually live. We saw a group earlier of two parrots going this way, which we were very excited for. How many? It's a, such a big group. One, two, three, four. We pretty much became ecstatic when we saw a group of about 23 parrots heading off into the east. And uh, wow, that is spectacular. You know, I've been coming here for the last 11 years and I've never seen a group that big going into the forest like that. Communities have been made aware of the importance of preserving the forests. They've been very helpful in conserving the forest itself. So with that, it, they've been really doing a wonderful job and then we'd like to say keep it up, trying to protect our forest because by doing that, we're keeping these birds alive. It's not just merely about protecting the parrots. Their habitat is home to other plants and animals. It's really to highlight how important these little forest patches are because unlike many other parts of the world where the forest is continuous over many kilometres, here in southern Africa, most of our forest patches are situated within grassland um, and it's the, both of those biomes are very threatened. Without the effort of these volunteers, the assessing of the parrots' numbers and distribution would have been near impossible. Renee Heiner, SABC News, Durban.